On this episode of Hot Moves, we'll do one of the most useful camera moves for drama. This is a super useful move. You can do this over and over and over. It's dead simple and super classy. It's the magical right angle converge. This is Hot Moves, brought to you by Hollywood Camera Work. A right angle converge is that you have somebody walking towards you like this and the camera converges at a right angle. So in case you don't remember what a converge is, a converge is that somebody runs towards the camera while the camera runs towards them. So they kind of meet in the middle and it feels more crucial. A right angle converge has a slightly different effect because as they are moving towards the camera, the camera kind of tracks into their path. They converge at a right angle. Okay, so Michelle is going to be walking into the room with a flashlight looking for dead bodies. And just go straight. She'll point the flashlight around and sometimes into the camera. And let's see, you're trying to find something here, trying to find something here. That's oh, so cool. I love flashlights on film. It's so James Cameron. It's so cinemascope. Blue anamorphic lens flares and we're done. At the same time, the camera will track ever so slowly into her path. And this instantly makes all walking and talking much more elegant. We're doing four variations of this, and it'll surprise you how different this shot is when you change small things. Well, I mean, let's do one. So you should start all the way out there. Okay. Yeah, and just really take your time. Okay. This whole shot here is just pure anticipation. And action. Yeah, right angle converges rule. We're going very, very slowly at a right angle into her path, and it's so elegant. Okay, cut. Yeah, I don't like her changing the side of the frame that she's on. Okay. Well, I should let her walk to the right side of the frame and then hold her there because I don't like keeping See, her this is the... super good. No, but in the end, it makes no sense to have her framed left. Perfect. Good idea. Let's do that. I need to come up with some ninja way to do this because I have a speed bump when I need, when I change steps. So I should be like standing like right here and then so I can reach all the way. Yeah. Okay, ready? Action. And let's drop in a color grade while we're at it. This is all about the parallax. If you remove the doll, as we'll do a little later, the shot just falls apart. But I hope you can see how this adds life and movement to basically any walking and talking, even if it's very long. And cut. Like, this is so, yeah. <laughs> this is so classy. But the point that I want to make is that a right angle converge is a magical little technique that you can do on almost no equipment. Like we're moving a yard, maybe. You could do this with a slider that you can get on Amazon for a hundred bucks. I mean, movies are 80% people walking or sitting and talking. So you should be doing right angle converges all the time. It's such a good move. But let's, for comparison, let's do a completely static shot. Yep, this is so very boring now. It's amazing how much life just that little bit of movement added. All right, next let's do a fast version. And you'll be surprised at how this is suddenly a completely different shot. The effect will be more like a regular converge of creating a critical moment. So Ari, do you have a plan for panning? I'm gonna follow her. <laughs> okay, fair enough. We'll wing it. And action! How's that? 
I, I just, there's so, we're moving and she's still buried in the darkness to me. Okay, I'll, I'll start later. Okay, and action. Okay. For me, I like that better. Can I see it? Yep. That's super cool. Yeah, it's beautiful. And finally, let's now remove the doll. And what becomes glaringly obvious is that camera movement gets all its magic from the parallax. Without something in the foreground, we're just floating weirdly around. And action. And I'll try to go a little later. And smoother. <laughs> Okay, how's that? Good. This feels more like a Sesame Street set now where you have all the stuff in there and we're shooting from out here. And so it's more like the angle is changing on that stuff where the stuff out here really created parallax. Oh, it's so nice to have the parallax back. Half the skill in doing good camera work is capitalizing on the things that give you visible parallax or just putting something in. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you soon. 